We're going to start off with a couple of state semifinals for football. First up is North Posey taking on Southmont. The Vikings 12 and 1 on the season, looking to take advantage of playing an 8 and 5 Mounties squad. So let's head to Poseyville to decide who's going to Indianapolis. Second quarter tied at zeros. Vikings with the ball. Jed Galvin takes a snap, hands off to the quarterback Liam Stone, who airs it out to Jackson Graff. He hauls it in for about a gain of 60 yards, gets inside the 10. So ball down on the goal line. Galvin punches it in to open up the scoring. Mounties looking to respond as Kyler McCandless catches the pass, but then North Posey's quarter and cornerback Liam Stone strips the ball, Vikings possession. So Posey in the red zone, here's Galvin again, powering his way for the score. 14-0 North Posey, Southmont needing to respond. So Kale Chad takes the pitch and takes the ball in the open area and gets to midfield. Same drive inside the 10. Nolan Boyer looking and firing to Aaron McMasters in the back of the end zone, and he makes the grab, pulls the Montes within one possession, which is nine seconds left in the first half. Fourth quarter, though, Posey up 17-7, and there's Galvin again. Third touchdown of the night, 23-7 after a missed PAT. Later on, here come the Vikings again. Same play, same result. Galvin, fourth touchdown. And Posey, minutes away from a berth to state championship game, and that'll help. Southmont desperate, down 37. Boyer picked off, and that's Graff who returns it into Mountie territory. And it's time for another running back to score for North Posey. This time, it's Colton Gardner who gets it across and puts the exclamation point on this one. And the Vikings win semi-states and are going back to the championship game for the first time since 2005 with a dominant 30-point win. The team in Poseyville could not be prouder of their squad. This is awesome. And this, this community is so bought into what we've been trying to do and the plan that we put in place seven years ago to try to get this thing back to where it was. And uh, I mean, these, these fans and our student body and our student athletes have 100% uh, bought into everything we've tried to do. And it, it's awesome. It's awesome um, to be a part of this thing and uh, to be a part of a community that's so special. Yeah, I mean, it means the world to us. How much work we put in, it means the absolute world to us. The Vikings will take on Fort Wayne, Bishop Lords, and Lucas Oil Stadium this upcoming Saturday at 11 Eastern.